How to automate variations of Rex. Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonDrama.com and I have a Max for Life solution for you. Max for Life is included in Ableton Life Suite or can be bought as an add-on towards Ableton Life Standard. So we can have a look here. We got a drift preset where we have different variations for the macro controls stored. If you're not aware, you can just easily create and um, set up new variations here and then you have this variation here you can hit command r and can say a new preset can name this already so you might want to jump to certain presets when you are playing live and you want to automate this so if you're jumping to a certain scene or in a certain section in the arrangement view you want to be able to have this variation being triggered so you can do this not natively, but you can do this with this device here. You just quickly map this to the rack. So we can use the on off switch here, for example, to let the device know which device it should control. So the Max for Life device is controlling now the 808 Drifter preset here. So if I select something, you can see it's jumping to the according and selected variation here. So I can automate this now real quick. So I could just set up a MIDI clip and I've done this already. And in the envelope section here, I could select um, the automate rec variation device, the variation select, and then I have set a one here. And if we have a look on the track, you can see if I trigger this dummy clip here, the automation is changing the selection of the variation and this is changing the variation here. So the beauty here is you can um, have this being controlling things on the return tracks here or on different tracks here as well. So you can set up a MIDI track for example. So let's say the drifter is sitting on a different MIDI track here. Let's remap the device. So map to rack, I need to go to the rack I want to control. I need to touch a parameter inside of this rack here. So let's touch the filter cutoff. If we go back, we can see in the device here, 808 Drifter is mapped now. And I can just quickly set up a MIDI clip, double clicking on an empty MIDI clip slot here. This will work on uh, with audio clips as well. So, and then I select the envelope section here. I select automate rack variations, variations, select parameter, and I can now set some parameters here. And obviously I need to set uh, a breakpoint with the value I want to select. And this value should <laughs> have a um, variation here. So if I would have selected six now, nothing would, would happen because I only have one, two, three, four, five variations in here. So now if I play this clip, we can see that it's jumping to four and the fourth preset is being selected. Let's set up another one just to demonstrate. I just duplicated this clip and maybe let's set up five here. So if I play this clip, we can see now the preset or the variation number five is being selected. You can get this device, just follow the link in the video description. And I have a lot of Max for Life tools making performance and your life easier with Ableton Live.